Welcome and hello. I'm so glad you could make it. I'm the Emperor and this is Crusader Kings 3 where I try and teach the game while I play the game by telling you what I do while I'm doing it. I had a little full par with recording so there's a slight bit of information missing. Uh, our mother died at the tender age of 28. We are took over at the age of zero. We are now one year old already, but we are beset by rebellions that are soon to be, well, at our doorstep. And we are embroiled in a holy war, which for once is actually for our faith, so it kind of matters. Uh, but that means that our troops are far, far away and the rebels will have some easy, easy times. And we're not too well equipped with the money. Thing is, could I have seen this? Potentially. Did I see this coming? Absolutely not. <laughs> um, so uh, something I could try is look around and find someone to marry someone. Like our father. He could marry someone. Let's check him actually. You. <sighs> the regent is not loyal enough to consent to being married off. Oh my god. <laughs> The problems are unlimited, basically. We can't do anything. Like, that's... Okay, so the beauty of Ultimo Genitor is you inherit as a young ruler, getting to do a lot of things for a long time. The problem with it is that if you are in a situation like we are right now, where you are a literal child on the throne, you don't get to do much of what you need to do to get your house in order. Okay, I'll send this army back. Sole reason being, uh, I want them to take on supplies. And also not be taken down by this army here. I'd like our troops to be together for that. There's really nowhere good to fight. But if we can make it to one of the keeps that we have already taken before battle is commenced... We might have somewhat of a chance uh, to fight properly because these will give you advantage. Since um, we hold it. So we let this army come. And I believe... Like, we're, we're, we're gonna lose. That's not a question. But our, our army leader is actually a defender. So friendly army casualties go down. We could put this guy in who's part of a rebellion. And maybe he dies. Because looking at this, what's coming here, without any help from any of the other Crusaders, we're not going to win this. So, um, I'm not quite sure. We might try and flee. I don't think we will be able to. But there is a county between us and them. A barony, rather. Okay, we're not fleeing. Yeah, no, they're coming for us. So we'll just stand and fight and see what happens. We do have a huge advantage, uh, which gives us a lot of damage, but I think the numbers are simply in their favor, so it's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. They will defeat us, which might lead us to fleeing onto ships, and then we can just go back home. We did, let's see, uh, we did supply enough, so we don't necessarily need to fight in this ever again, until it's done, until it's concluded. But look at that, yeah, we're. We're in big trouble. And another faction has been created against us. Our army will not be completely destroyed, but... Okay, but they are, they are running a very, very far journey there. That's not good. Let's have a quick look here. Three months, seven months. At least this one can't. But there is... From our current position, there's literally nothing we can do. So we'll have to do our best and hope that the Franks will be enough to offset our problems here. Main thing is that all of our men-at-arms, our most important combatants, are also in this army. So we are trapped literally until we arrive here, which is in 36 days. And then we have to get on ships and we have to travel home. Only upside is that with our army so depleted right now is that we are at least not bleeding money so hard on something that we can't possibly win. Uh, the enemy has 60,000 troops amassed. I don't even think if we had everything here, we would be able to field that. Okay, well, we, I, 
We don't even need to be here. Deduct our 40,000 and these should still win. Plus he's imprisoned somewhere? I don't know. Let's check out our prisoners who can be ransomed if there's anything good. Um, 30 gold is not great, but we'll take it. We can transfer. Mm, nah. Not gonna do that just now. Another positive thing about early rebellion starting. I know it's gonna sound a little bit weird, but trust me, it is a positive thing. Um, is you can... The earlier they start, the fewer people are going to be in them. That's literally it. Okay, let's check who's even in this. So we have Bohemia. We have Hungary. Hungary. They have done this in the past. We have Italy. We have Novogrod. And Moldavia. Okay. All right. So landing down here. Hungary alone has 15,000 soldiers. So we absolutely need to get away from here. But the question is, where do we land? Do we land here? Or do we land elsewhere? I think we're going to go here. And basically head straight for the capital of Hungary. That's what we're going to do. This is costing us a lot of money. But it's much more sensible for us to do it this way. Than sending down our troops and raising them back up. Because that's going to take months. Up to a year, potentially. So, absolutely not possible for us. We have to do it this way. And knowing when the rebels are coming gives us a little bit of an edge. And Hungary is the... Th these are always sorted by how strong they are. So, Hungary is the worst one. You can tell here by the military strength number. Uh, followed by Bohemia. And then the Duchy of Opolania. And Italy... Of course, is pretty strong, but they are the strongest belligerent in this one. They can send the ultimatum anytime, so they're much like uh, very likely to do that right now. Basically, but we'll see. Another thing we could and should probably do soon is raise our own armies, kind of close here, so we have whatever else has been regenerated while our troops were away. Okay, a secret is exposed. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. So this is one of those faction years. So here's an adulterer. Which probably I can't do anything with because I'm a child. Um, let's see. Uh, we can't hold court, but we can talk about this. What do you want? I am not paying anyone anything. Um, no, no, no. Someone is spending money in our court. We'll we'll happily support that. I wanted to check out intrigue. Yeah, we have zero hooks on anything, so it doesn't even help that we know that. It's completely pointless for us to know. <laughs> now I do wonder, is our army more expensive because they're on ship right now? The embarking costs money, yes, but... Is the army more expensive to maintain in a fleet? I don't quite know that one. Okay, so we have one. Uh, we have two factions that can send at any time. And none of these are like... There we go. Okay. So first one is coming in, but this is actually Italy. So we landed in the wrong place, sort of. We will not be threatened. We'll fight this. We'll rally our troops and... Well, okay, we, we're not super wrong. We're not in the super wrong place. We can go here and siege this immediately. We will absolutely call all of our allies instantaneously into this. Because it costs us nothing. Defensive war is free to call your friends in. And maybe let's pause this. We'll also call our dynasty members. 
Which actually, I don't know, this costs us renown, but calling our house members costs us nothing. So there's a little bit of war military strength in there. And we can ransom this lad. Isn't that fantastic? Okay, so they are uh, joining us, which is lovely. We are not going to catch this army, make no mistake. And we lost our steward to the rebellion, so let's put someone else in. They, them. She's probably part of another rebellion, but until she does her rebellious thing, oh, we'll go here. The I think one of the more important issues right now is our money situation. Which I don't think we can do anything about. Let's check our our artifacts if there's something we can destroy. Sadly, no. We did get a thing. But it's not of green quality. What we could, of course, do... Let's see. Can I not sort this a little bit more? Type. Okay, this is a small ornament. So we could potentially destroy another small ornament. Like this one here. Dynasty Opinion plus three. Like the... This here isn't as good as the Magnificent Shield. So both of these are small wall ornaments. You can tell by how it says small here. So we can destroy this thing, which has a lot of um, uh, the durability left. But it gives us 80 gold, pulling us a little bit out of the hole. And now we can put the small shield here, which looks nothing like this, but it's okay. The shield is better, so no problem. Issue, everything else we have... Well, that's the thing. Sadly, we can't sell these either. You, you can only break them, but you can't break over a certain level of quality. It's a good thing we made peace and an alliance with the Byzantines because, uh, well, we are quite surrounded right now. All the people are sending us messages that they're coming in now. Joining us in our very, very rightful war. Okay, let's uh, put another flag somewhere here. While we still can. And, oh, there's another one. And we'll raise all our troops here. Because we still have more troops to field. And we'll do the same thing as we have done before. So we will put out a siege army only. And one army that attacks. So the siege army will consist of uh, just our trebuchets and, and a bunch of levies. That's all they need to be. Just checking that we're still organizing the army, which we are. So this is perfect, basically what we're gonna do. Um, uh, we'll do it like that. And now we kick a bunch of levies over there. I think 7,000 should be fine. So we take that army and this army and send them there. Only thing we need to do... Oh. Only thing we need to do is keep an eye on these. <laughs> Just need to make sure that they are not ambushed, not taken by something else, someone else. And of course we want to have a little eye on our own capital because that's where the enemy needs to go to take us out. If they want to have any hope of doing so. But our siege army, that does need to be good. It should have a commander, though, especially one that has Siegecraft to speed this process up. So sieging in a defensive war is still very sensible. You need to do it. And it will help you kind of cover the financial loss of it. I know I have troops starving here, and I should probably take care of that because... While I wouldn't care too much if it were just levies, these are my men-at-arms, so them replenishing costs a lot of money, puts a lot of strain on us, financially speaking. Okay, so we're taking that army, no problem. These guys are standing there, though they are kind of starving. 
which is a problem. Let's see where their troops are at. Okay, they are still here in Italy. So, for the time being, what we're going to do is we're going to split this army. And move people to places where they can resupply. And we'll take that army, move it here. And we'll switch these two armies out, basically. Because these are newly raised, they're fully supplied. This one isn't. Okay, but taking this over is fine. So they're good now. We'll, we can turn them back. So I'll just let them sit here, resupply them a little bit. And we also needn't win. Like, that's important. All we need to do is white piece. It's not ideal, but white piece will be just enough to get us out of this very bad situation. Especially money-wise, this will break us, potentially break us now. Let's think a little bit about what we can do here. So there are always decisions to take. Problem is, we're a child. We're a baby. We're not even a child. We're a baby. We're a literal baby. Uh, so we are <laughs> we're not allowed to do anything. Something I generally haven't done in all those years is put our uh, steward to collecting taxes. We will for now. It's going to put a tiny, tiny little dent here. But we need all we can do. Uh, we can get plus there is a chance that she will give us extra taxes, which is just a lump sum of money. The good thing, the, the silver lining, is that the crusade at the moment sits as 98%. Uh, oh no, that's the holy war. The crusade does not. Okay, there's no silver lining here. The silver lining is that the holy war of the Byzantines is almost done. So the Byzantines are most likely going to be sending troops our way to help uh, fend off all these little rebellions that are currently sprouting up throughout our empire. As if it were nothing much to deal with. Another good thing is that we have fortified heavily in our home province over the past many, many, many centuries. So even if someone should arrive there, they're going to have a very, very hard time to take us on and down. But, okay, everyone is resupplying. You can tell by a little icon here with a bag. So that's all good. These guys, they will take longer. I think what we're going to do is we're going to turn these around. Check which is the crown... Barony here, which we need to take. So this is the one. So we'll turn these around and put our trebuchets out as well. Just them. Send them there. Though maybe we let them resupply a little bit. And we take the bigger army and move that over here. So we're doing a little bit of a rotation. Which is funny because uh, rotation is a thing in actual warfare. You pull in troops that are fresh, that are vital, that can fight. All good. Another secret exposed. So the Byzantines finished their war. Uh, well done, thanks. So hope we, hopefully we will have some Byzantine troops. And these guys need a... Siege master who's a guest of ours. We would have to first bring him in. Okay, I think I'm shooting a little bit over the target here. I'm moving in weird places. Am I? No, it's all good. So these troops are together. Now I combine them. Leading to the very easy and good thing that they are now resupplied. And these are resupplying. So... Still looking for where the enemy is. They're still sitting around in Italy, sieging my lands there. Okay, good. Enjoy that. I don't think I'm going to walk there. Because we might just get a, a white piece out of doing things here. We're very close, so... But, something that annoys me a little bit about the game at the moment. You cannot just replace a commander. So we want a particular commander on this army. But he's in another army. So first we have to remove the commander why and then we can uh, put him in great but we can now take all this army now these are worthless at sieging we do not have sappers yet and I'm very very unwilling with this other rebellion uh, which Hungary is a part of looming right there I, I kind of don't want to send them away I want them to stand right there I don't want to split my army I'm I'm very prone to making these kind of mistakes where I like, okay, I need to do something quick. 
and then I do something quick and then it's absolutely not to my best interests at all. So maybe the Franks and the Byzantines can roll in and kind of take Italy to task. Instead, they're coming to my <laughs> army right now. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So what does a negative income even do? Let's talk about that for a second. Negative income will lead to a constant degradation of your holdings and lands. And your army will fight worse. So this place here right now, it has all these lovely little green little icons. They're all going to turn red. It won't be long. They're all going to turn red. I can't even go and ask for money from a holy order. Because no holy order has enough money to lend me anything. So, uh, we are kind of having some problems here. Now, the Italians, as they are taking some of the lands in their siege here, they are pushing us back a little bit in our chance to win this. So, we can keep fighting here, which at least is going to give us some gold. These are, these are pretty rich uh, baronies. But it might not be enough war score for us to get. However, these are lands that we need to control to win this. You can tell by the dotted borders. Whereas he is just attacking random. He's not attacking anything. I mean, he is attacking something, but it's this is not going to count all that heavily. This will continually tick up our war score, these lands. The ones in the dotted borders. Okay. Uh, they had a succession. That's bad. Can't offer to join their war. And we can't arrange an alliance. But the alliance is now broken. So we cannot call in Francia into the next war that's coming. Against the other faction that's sitting there. So the Franks are useless for us now. Basically. At this point, the Franks don't do nothing. Unless they go attack Italy, which clearly they are not. They are just sitting around here with us, having a good time. Okay, we are at 32%. This will be enough for a white piece. We'll take it. It's not ideal. Definitely not. But it'll get us out of this uh, war here. And it'll prevent them from joining new factions. So they're done, they're out. Still two factions left, which can send their ultimatum at any time. And one of them has our very, very good commander in it. So we've beaten one rebellion. Now the thing is, I would love to stand down my armies, but it will take up to 10 months for them to return. So we need to have our armies up right now because our enemy can call in their attack on our lands at any point. And they would absolutely overwhelm us if we stood our armies down right now. So we are basically required to stay in debt. Which is, I think, a big problem. <laughs> uh, what we could do is try and march them home, basically. And see if that helps. Either in triggering our enemies to feeling like, okay, now we can attack. See? Some factions have disbanded anyway. So there's only one faction left that could do something. So they want to put this guy on the throne. And he has claims. What we can do? We could uh, disinherit or denounce him. If we denounce him, that's okay. All house members of this cadet branch lose opinion of us. I don't care. So we'll denounce him and we'll imprison him. We have a chance this succeeds. If it doesn't, uh, he will leave a court. So we'll see how it works. But if we have imprisoned him... Okay, he has, he has managed to flee. So I should have disinherited him. Shouldn't I? 
That doesn't help, though. I disinherited someone before, and they didn't get removed as a potential claim all. So, yeah. Let's see. Who else do we have here? Good evening, good of boy. Welcome back. Or welcome at all. <laughs> ah, doing some teaching stream again. Guardevoir. 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 Am I getting this right? Guardevoir? I mean, it's. It reads like God of War, right? But Guard of War? <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm doing it wrong. Alright, let's bring up chat. There we go. Ha, huh, so. Um, one faction down. Ah, yeah, I see that's I know. So we'll just move our troops off, see if maybe that tickles our enemies to, to action. Another faction was created against us. Good stuff. Okay, what could we do to trigger them? Demand an artifact or something? I'm just trying to see. You can you can trigger them into firing. Ah. Hmm. Are you part of any of these things here? No, it does not appear. Okay. I'll let it slide, get the weak hook on her. That's fine. Okay, we've become curious, which is not a bad trait to have. Learning language scheme power plus 50%. As a child, can we learn languages? No. Once we're six years old. So we should probably do that while we are a child, no? We need this faction to start their war against us. can't afford to have a lot of our army to be out of the field for 12 months. It's just... I cannot. That is impossible for me. Eight months. It's just too long. So the reason they're taking this long to potentially reform is because you're in the middle of a war. So this is punishment. So we go into ever more debt because this faction is simply not attacking us. And I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. We're going to stand down these guys. Once we start weakening ourselves, that's when they're going to jump. So let's take some of these weaker armies and disband them to help alleviate our financial woes a little bit. Of course, we can't call upon them now for a little while. And with the chance that the enemy will just kind of pop out anytime. It's really not much we can do. We have to have a standing army. Are you kidding me? You want the empire. This lady has been a thorn in my side for forever. We will denounce her. Costs us a lot of prestige and a lot of everything else. And now we, re we will revoke their title. Which is an act of tyranny. Why? They are... What? Why? Why game? They are a criminal. Fine, I'll imprison you then. Maybe only that way. I can actually do that. Okay, so she's imprisoned. That takes care of her thing. And it's an act of tyranny. Right. I could try and get a claim. But... We can't afford it right now, so it doesn't really help. 
let's see what else can we do to help alleviate the stress no i didn't want to split them let's kick out all of our levies these are very costly and we just need to kick out enough so we go into the plus again so 5,000 troops need to stand down. Hey, that should have given us a good plus. Okay. So now we're in the plus again. So now we can sit there with our army. Forever long, the enemy thinks they need to get their little rebellion going. And we'll slowly crawl out of debt again. See? See how we're doing this? How masterminded I am with our fiduciary duty to the empire? Okay, let's have a little look at our counties because, well, we're actually not degrading yet. Interesting. I would have absolutely expected these to go down the drain now. Ah. Huh. Weird. An acquaintance of ours has died in the dungeons. Excuse me, wait just a moment. Ah, oh, no, no. He just had a similar hat. I thought it was this guy. Okay, we, we could forgive him. Nah. We're not forgiving that fool. Can't also murder him because, again, we're a baby. A literal child. So I think the saving grace grace we have right now oh no our father died that means we have a new we have a new regent which could potentially be bad who's our new regent our uncle uh, at least he's selflessly loyal so that's positive who's educating me anyway Who is educating us? No one. What are, what do we want to be? Okay, we definitely go into learning. That's just too good to pass up. So, let him teach us. We could, of course, let someone who hates us teach us to improve their opinion. But the bonus that you get is so little. That really doesn't help all that much. So, I wouldn't recommend it. Including the fact that these people have some power over you and they could very easily kill you, so. Right, so the crusade down here isn't going all that well. What we could do is... Oh no, we can't. Hey, you. No, I can't call him into a holy war. Ah, well. So this holy war is definitely not going to be won. Uh... There is simply, I mean, if everyone really went, including us, but we are almost 50% of this and we cannot go there. So the first crusade out of, I think, 14 at this point is going to be one where things kind of go wrong. So that's, that's, of course, that's not... It's not super good. You don't want that. Well, we really had a chance to get something. So for now, we'll just sit there and have our troops stand guard over Krakow. Until the Holy War is decided. I think the second the Holy War is over, these factions are going to swell. All these people that are currently in the Holy War and like, nah... We have obligations. We can't do this. Yeah, they're gonna come. They are going to come for us. Okay, there we go. Now it's starting. Lack of uh, sheriffs for 10 years. So the county of Krakow, which is one of our most important income streams, gets minus 20% holding taxes, minus 30% holding growth. And it's just... Yeah, that's bad. See how we immediately got reduced from plus 5 to plus 2? Yeah, that's that's how bad it is. And of course, it only gets better once you're out of debt. But as in real life, getting out of debt, well, you'll see.
So, we are trying to crawl out of our money hole. And, uh, very good. So, our regent is abusing his power. Good stuff. We can't swing back the scales until we are at least eight years old. But we're getting places. We're growing older. We haven't lost a crown yet. We have most of... Lost most of the money the crown ever had, but... Not the crown itself. No, no, the crown itself is still safe for us and uh, here, so I should say that is a good sign if ever there has been one, I would think. All right, I think we're we're fully back. Everything is working fine again, as it should. Notable guests, like I care. Fresh converts volunteer. Oh, very good. So we're currently trying to convert Rome to servant of the Lamb, and Levi size plus twenty five percent here in Roma. Good stuff, as if we need it. So I'm thinking of splitting my army a little bit further. And we'll stand down some of them. Knowing full well that right now we're weakening ourselves, but... Okay. No court physician. We know we, we do want a court physician. But... Okay, let's put him in. Our... Our uncle regent and everything, he can, he can be that, that's fine. Okay, we'll stand our army down fully. And possibly regret this, quite instantly. Uh, I'm so scared of clicking this button, because this is our strongest bit. I mean, we don't have to, we literally don't have to. Our heavy cavalry and our light cavalry are the best. They're not reinforcing right now because we literally have no money. So let's check what's going on. Oh, play charm. Let's, let's see. Bring me my scoperol. What the heck is a scoperol? Across the room, I see my brother Luddy's love playing with his favorite doll. The adults around me are always happy, unhappy, and want me to help them. But I think I would rather help beat the fearsome dragon he seems to be fighting. Lannis Love sees me looking and waves me over to join him. Now I have to be serious. Okay. Now we have to be serious. I don't need court grandeur. And I also need to look up what the heck a scoperal is. Scoperal. Uh, senses and subsenses. A toy that spins around. I need images. What the hell is this scoperol? Okay. I see a lot of things that none of which make sense to me. I still don't know what a scoperol is. If anyone can enlighten me in the chat what the hell a scoperol is, please do. Or... If you're watching over on YouTube, leave a comment and explain to me what the what the world of scoperal is. I do not know what it is. Okay, so right now we're earning fairly well back. So we can keep them up. Because this is our most important army. Having these guys there. Let's race on stilts. Chance we win, we lose. I ah, will race on stilts. Let's go. Ah, we lose. Fine. Whatever. Okay, 27 months un until they can send an ultimatum. I wonder what's what's up with them. Did you lose your claimant, maybe?
There are a lot of people that don't speak our court language yet. I'm fascinated that this crusade is still ongoing. That they haven't all perished because the supply situation in these crusades gets really, really dire really, really quick. But they haven't given up yet. <laughs> Good on them. True warriors of the faith. Our court grandeur has gone down. Well, such is life. Let's find us a new steward. And we'll want someone with the appropriate skill. I think they are part of one of those rebellions. But maybe they can do us some good here. I'll try. By the way, chat, if you ever have any questions or YouTube comments as well, just leave your questions. I'll try and get you the answers that you need for how to play this. You are in debt. Well, I am quite aware, thanks. Cannot declare war. Cannot reinforce men at arms. County corruption spreads in your domain. Vassals are more likely to join factions. Yep. The vassals are more likely to join factions mainly because you are literally weak. You, you, you cannot do what you usually would. Can't fight the wars you want. How's the balance looking at the moment? Just in terms of pure troop power? This should be a done deal. But I'm telling you, the people dying here just to attrition, due to a lack of supplies, that's generally the main problem. But it seems there are more and more joining in. Patrols can marry. Uh, certainly, that's the King of Ireland. But it doesn't give us an alliance. Because these were all proposed before we took the throne. Which I kind of think is sad. I mean, we're still related. Why does that not result in an alliance just because the person who brokered it died? Oh, very good. Our steward did generate us some extra taxes. Which is fairly low due to his skill. But 240 gold at this point is basically almost 10 months of earning gold. So he put us ahead quite a bit here. We might even be back on being able to generate our our men-at-arms. Look at us clipping through our little throne here with all the crusaders around us. Isn't that lovely? Our court grandeur will go back up so we don't really need to spend anything here. That's fine. Our glory is widely known. Very good. This helps with people liking us a little bit better. Someone joined in debt. Inefficient census. So one of our counties gets even worse. Holding taxes minus 20%. Ah. Okay, so the, the emperor calls us into a war. As he is attacking somewhere here in another holy war. My god, the empire is thick. So we could try and go there, but I don't I don't want to move my troops. I'm still scared. <laughs> Plus we can't afford it anyway. They would have to go by land, and by the time they arrived anywhere sensible, this war is probably over. Let's just keep going here. Oh by the way, I set something up. Uh, I set a bot up or something. Which if you type exclamation mark and link, it should give you the link. So if anyone wants to test that for me, that would be lovely. I tried, but didn't really look like it worked or I was doing it wrong. I'm not quite sure. So the Crusaders are in a battle right now, which looks like they might win. The enemy is sending reinforcements, but with how they trickle in, this battle will long be decided for the Crusaders before they ever get in there. So, yeah. They already got the war score for it, even though it's not even done yet. But that pushed the Crusade quite ahead. And we are still... We are in there. So, realistically, if they win that crusade, we win that crusade. And that will give us gold. Lots and lots of gold. Lots and lots of piety. Lots and lots of prestige. So, all the good things in the world we want out of this. I like... Okay, let's read through this real quick. This is very bad, yeah? No? Uh, 
and any wars you might be fighting in. Okay, sure, right? Yes, makes sense. Stand down your armies, absolutely. Ask the head of gold for money, sure. Borrow gold from a holy order, okay. It might also be a good idea to switch to the wealth focus if you don't have it already. We can't do any of this, as I discussed. So this is your tutorial suggestions, and they're all bad. I mean, they're not bad. They're really bad for our current situation. Uh, a faction has been disbanded. They are too weak to send an ultimatum now, and these can only send it in 10 months. So, doing the little math that we understand, if we disband them right now, they will be back in 10 months when they can start doing the ultimatum. So, right now is a good chance for us to get out of debt. Before they attack, we'll be back in the good graces of our accountants, who will stop dying of stress like flies. Which is good for us, of course. And the Crusaders are also doing really, really well. So, we'll see. A new faction has been created, but I don't worry too much about it at the moment. This one here is probably our worst faction. I don't understand this guy. Why do you hate us so much? What do you want? High levy contribution. High okay. We can do something about that. You want to only give us normal. Oh, Excuse me, that's 5,000, that's 2,000 troops. But that would kick him out of the faction. I'm pretty sure he would stop being in the faction. Well, oh, he already went out without even us doing anything. <laughs> All right. He felt the gaze of Sauron upon him. And he was like, nope, thanks, bye. So we don't have any raised armies right now. Switching him should be fine financially. So we'll do that. It shouldn't cost us anything because we have zero soldiers in the field. But I was wrong. I mean, now that we have money again, our men at arms are costing us uh, because they are replenishing. So it all makes sense. We just have to wait for these guys to be fully replenished and then it's all good again. Then we're back on the money train. And the crusade also looks like it's going to be won any second now. I am completely in awe and aghast. So what do we take away from all these situations at the moment? Just sometimes you need to you need to be a little bit patient. You need to be slow, methodical about what you're doing. And not so much trying to do the things immediately as they kind of present themselves to you. Uh, let's see. Did we get something this time? Your contribution was lower than the required 100, so you gain nothing. Which is a lie, as we all know. Um, so be it. Fine. I mean, it was shattered, apparently, but no one got anything out of it. So the holy wars for the Christian faith are currently really, 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 really borked. Um, because the Pope is a Catholic, I am a servant of the Lamb, and it's all a little bit weird. So, I can be like, no, I don't want to do that. I love that he's called Moneybags. That's just, that's just the name for a Pope. And this has been the thing. I was duped into thinking that this time, maybe, maybe, because it is a servant of the Lamb, great holy warrior, but it really isn't. So we'll just pledge again and join and be there and get a lot of war score and not get anything out of it again. But from a bit of a more uh, position of greater power. Oh, look. Yes, the Pope. He, he is trying to rebel against us. He has been trying for a while. I sure hope he does it at some point. That would be good. Can I go here? No. I could meet my peers. Let's do that. Always gives a bit of a good little um, event chain that might improve you for later life. Also, we are seven now, so we can start learning languages. Do you have a language to teach me? No, you do not. Uh, you. Ah, uh, no. Where are languages to be taught to me, please? Anyone want to teach me a language? Let's check through our vassals and see if anyone here can teach me language. Yeah, we can learn high German from him. Let's do that. We have a 95% chance it works, even though he hates our 
guts. Absolutely hates us. I love the fact that he is the Pope and he is not our court matriarch or patriarch. It just tickles me. I know I've said it before, but it keeps amusing me. All right, we're slowly growing in financial terms again. So should we send something down here? We really don't have anything close by. Like that would be a really, oh, do well, we, we do we do we have this little bit here. Um, let's raise the local army there. Get a flag down here. Let's just send our Jerusalem boys. So once we have 500 or so, we stop. Because everyone else being raised is now our men at arms. And we only want to send a bit of levy. Just so we just so we were there, you know? Participation trophy. So it can't be new. Okay, our region is more powerful. We cannot swing the scales of power just yet. But we'll have to work on this. We want this back down to level 1. We don't want an entrenched... Regent. Because he can eventually ask us to just give over our titles. Which... Ah, no thank you. No thank you very much. I would appreciate not doing that at all. Yes, welcome. Let's meet the peers. We'll just try and attach our army to something of his. So they'll do something sensible. 50% chance our learning increases by 1. 10% chance struggling with writing. We'll try that. Teach me. We further the studies of... In the art of... Okay. Oh, will we arrive to the battle in time? Let's see what's going on here. Laddie's love can become our friend. Or he becomes our victim. No, no, we will save Laddie's love. Leave my half-brother alone. You brute. He's my friend, my good friend, at the age of 14. Let's see. I don't really feel like it. How is our stress? It's fine. I oh, will join. We'll join the little game. Oh, we could get strong here. Definitely going to get a prowess increase. Let's see. Hold on, I'm coming. Oh, we got it. Perfect. One of the best traits in the game there. Prowess plus four and a medium health boost. He's a strong boy. He's basically... He's basically the witcher. The nerdy strong boy. Let's see. It's, uh, we'll, we'll be more quiet. Maybe we get a diplomacy out of it. Nope. Didn't work. But we're making some more friends. Until next time. Thank you all so much for being here. How often can we do that? Okay. All those factions are now too weak to send ultimatums. So we're pretty much through the worst, I'd say. So we can do this again in two years. So every two years, so until we're 16, we can do that a whole bunch. And we should, you saw how good that is. Meet your peers. Might be a DLC thing. But if you can have it, 100% suggest you do it. New faction created, sure. You can create all the factions you want as long as they're weak.
Let's see. Uh, veteran mercenaries hide as instructors. No. Not the locals handle it. County of Kursk. Local garrison wiped out. Recently looted. Implore them to leave. Recently looted. I can't afford that. Where is Kursk anyway? Is that, is that important to me? No. I'll just implore them to leave. They ignore our pleas. Oh no. Okay, so what we can do with our little army is we can try and catch a bigger army for him to then fall upon. I would like not to die in this battle, please. Come on, at least I would like to arrive as well. We can make it to the battle. There, see? Soldiers, under my banner. Your ally arrived. Uh, we'll just attach them. We'll attach them to the seventh army of Tabriz. So now they are going to be hauled around there and we don't need to worry about them anymore. That's all good. So this holy... No. There's a new holy war coming up. A faction has been disbanded. And a new faction or an old faction is capable of factioning again. So these guys already tried this before, right? So we could imprison her using a hook. There's a chance of this triggering the rebellion. Let's see if we have a better chance of imprisoning someone of these others here. Don't have a hook on them. Can't imprison him at all. So we'll try this here. We'll use the hook. 14% chance is... It's probably going to go wrong. But then we have the rebellion at our doorstep. And then we can take care of it. Then it's done, you know. Yep, there we go. Rally the troops. And I, of course, unpause the game because I always tend to do that. Mm. There's no powerful vassal good for the job, so... We're gonna pick someone who isn't a knight of ours, if we can. Uh, someone who isn't? Okay, we'll, we'll have to take a knight. Let's take the worst knight of them. I don't know which one of these might be the worst knight, because sadly the martial skill isn't actually indicative of them being a good or bad knight. It's actually their prowess. I will just take this guy, it doesn't really matter. Mm. Alright, let's call in the Byzantines, because it costs us nothing. To have them in here with too few knights. Oh no. Wait. Yes, I bet there's someone I can force to be a knight. We could recruit Frederick. But right now we need our money again, so I'd rather not. Uh, let's just force this guy. And that should be fine again. And now we'll have a quick look around. So where are our enemies? Everywhere. Italy specifically. But I think the greatest concentration of our enemies is over here. So if we raise our troops kind of there. And just take out the dotted areas real quick. That would help us into a white piece. Or, you know, we don't need to do a white piece this time. We might actually finish them off and win proper. So we'll just raise our troops right there, I think. And we'll raise all here. We'll click on it. But we don't want all of our troops. Uh, so we check this here. They have 41,000. We can bring in 47,000. But we don't want that. We, we don't want to bring everyone. Because we're going to meet their armies separate anyway. And the Byzantines might join and jump up in, in the time being. So we'll kill some of these armies being raised. Before they are ever raised. Because this is still definitely going to be enough to take care of whatever they are bringing up here. Uh, though, one problem I can see right now is that none of our men-at-arms are being raised. Which we definitely need. And we can't fight them with just levies. That's not gonna work. 
Ok, te lo digo. So. Ok, we can't just rush through. You can see our troops dying if we do that. Oh, we can. It's not it's not too bad. I want to fight this army immediately. If we if we can. That looks good. I'm fine with losing a bunch of troops in, in these uh transitory places. I don't mind that. It's okay. As long as we can catch them. That's what we need to do right now. Oh, he's being besieged by someone else. But that should be fine. We should we should reach him here. Let's see. Friendship, believer in afterlife for 20 years. Extra devotion and everything. I just miss mother so much. I can't stop thinking about her. Remember, she's looking over you always. Yeah, we do that. That's very compassionate. Let me get another learning here. Let's see if we can catch these brigands. Yes, we can. So our levy got in there first. Now our whole army is in. And of course there is a holy war again on. So... Yeah, okay. We. Why did we get a minus 10%? This didn't count at all. Our battle, okay, it gave us three percent. Okay, that that wasn't that wasn't great. All right, we'll go siege these dotted places now. Uh, we'll just keep a little bit of an eye out. They don't... They, they, we, we can't let them get to our capital. That's all. Everything else is kind of fine. Do we have a siege leader? Yes, but we have to recruit him. Okay, we'll, we'll bite the bullet this time. He can lead this real quick. Okay, snake at court. Doesn't matter. It's fine. We could try and catch the enemy army. We don't know exactly where they're going, but since we don't lose anyone walking that way... Okay, we're not gonna catch them, so instead of running after them, we're just gonna continue our sieges. So we're at plus five percent now because they are actually losing their home so while we are losing some regular duchies and counties there that's fine i mean as fine as it can be under the circumstances so we are winning all these battles down here with our little army following around we're earning a little bit of war score. Our contribution is 0%. Man. <laughs> I was hoping we would get something out of it, but apparently not. So our allies are being beaten over here. I think. Ah, uh, that's not good for us. Who is that even? Hey, what other allies do we have in this? All right, we got the delicious face of Jesus, which we will immediately destroy for it is heresy and it is absolutely horrible. A collection of saffron cakes that bear resemblance to Jesus. Uh, we need the money more than the weird little artifact there. And that is not quite enough for a white piece yet. So we'll keep sieging everything here. What else is... Ah, okay. Kiev is pretty big, so... I'll have to keep going there. If they settle to attack something for a longer duration, 
we might just go fight them. And the good thing about having a kingdom that doesn't have a lot of development all around is that, well, the castles and everything are pretty squishy. You want freedom, you shall have it in death. Okay, next faction popping up. This time, the Pope. Very good. We will keep calling in everyone. And we white piece out of this one because the Pope I actually want to take down. The Pope I want to take out. He has been... Not very papal, I say. 20%? Is that enough for white piece? It might be. No, just not just yet, but we're getting close. I hope the Byzantines are soon done with their war so can they can join us. But as you can see, I don't need my whole army up right now. Because we are not really threatened here by anything that would be a problem. But what we need to do is we split our army. I will split it twice. Send them there. Them there. This army we also split. We take that bit here. And everyone else can stay because we need to re uh, take on supplies again. Obviously this army goes without supplies, so that's not great. Oh, we get to choose our first trait. He can become our, our friend if we become greedy. Diplomacy goes down. Uh, we could become just. I don't care so much about intrigue. Or could we could become callous. Without fairness, the realm will falter. Bah, when I rule, taxes will be high and plentiful. Everyone pays their part. I think we'll go with that. He is a king of Pomerania. And having friends can be more valuable than anything else. So we'll go with that. Or we'll become greedy and have him. Plus, it kind of makes sense, right? Overcompensating for the for the trauma of indebtedness during our early years. Okay, thirty-seven percent. That's enough for a white piece. So we'll kick them out. So that war is done, and now we can go take care of that. A rebellious folk. Where are they, though? Let's have a quick look around first. Let's see. Where are these Catholic rebels? I... Are they in Egypt? Ah, yes. That's where they are. Okay. So that's going to be a bit of a problem, because we have to get there. Uh, Alright. So we'll get there then. Then again... If you just raise all here... Like, these are peasants. They don't have anything. They have a few archers and a few trebuchets. But we should be fine sending our troops just in full force. If we outnumber them like 10 to 1. Or something silly like that. Okay. That rebellion was just invalidated. So we can disband these. Uh, Vladislav shall join our court. What? What is he? Oh. He's actually not bad. Sure. You promoted this commander for me. Let's get him a spouse. Someone, anyone. The Lady Tolstoy, maybe. Doesn't really matter. Just want him to recreate, procreate. 
Okay, so what are we still in? We are still in a holy war, which we have contributed nothing to, which is also failing. And we are still fighting with our friend over here, which we also apparently have contributed nothing to. Because um, our little trick isn't working so well. So what we're going to do is we're going to stand all these down. Because it doesn't matter right now. I'm, I'm no longer all that afraid. So let's earn our money again. I don't care about how these wars are ending. So there's a good chance of a new rebellion coming up. Okay. Oh yeah, we can imprison everyone. <laughs> Let's see. Speaking of imprisoned. You. Hmm. I still want to convert the princeship brick princeship brick of rome first but we'll go and get our claim on that little county there that has been doing bad things that we don't like being done troth can marry will not accept why why not it is fulfilled ah Okay, we do get the German alliance. That's good. Makes us even less attractive to our internal factions. We'll dissuade more factionism happening. So the boy Bistrik has done fairly well so far, I must say. In his first nine years. He has, he has done quite well. And he can sway people now. So let's go sway some people. Excuse me? Where's my sway option? There. A 12, okay. Not not quite old enough yet. But we should be able to meet our peers again, shouldn't we? Yeah, let's go. Let's do that. That is absolutely worth the money. Okay. Why do you tell me here that I can't do it? Like, why can't I click all these buttons? So you tell me in the last second... Ah, no, nah, no. Nah, eh, <laughs> You can't. Thanks. We learned the high German language. Very good. Let's check through our vassals and see again whose languages we might learn as well. Italian Vulgar. Let's go. I'm never concerned myself much with it, but I feel, why not? Does it help at all? That I speak his language. Does it help? No. Uh, let's check on our little... Ah, this is what we can do now. Swing the scales. And we'll leverage our prestige here. To push him back into his place. We even have someone who actually likes us. It's our friend. Yeah, the crusade failed. Oh, no. Big shame. And we go again. Let's set a beneficiary, which won't work. I, I've stopped. I've lost count of the crusades. Literally. I don't know where we are anymore. Our uncle, region, and antiquarian, yes, he, he can be the new whatever of wherever. So how are you not winning this? What is going on here? I'm not sending more troops. I'm sending all you have, all you get. Okay, we could send some more. I'll just click on raise all here. And again, we'll just destroy some of these right away. And what's left is what he gets, basically. We'll send him maybe 5,000 levies or so. And see what comes in here. Gonna take forever to form. Because of us dismissing our troops randomly before. That's what happens then. Okay, so levies are filtering in now. What did I say? Four or 5,000? Ah, 
that's good enough. I'm even sending my light cavalry and light infantry and everyone. See, I mean it now. I'm helping. I'm known as a deeply pious man. Surely my devotion to God should be good for something in this life too. I've been too lenient with the church this year. <laughs> I mean, he hates us anyway. Might as well leverage this and get some money out of this. Especially since we're greedy, you know? that That's the most RP action I can think of out of the given ones. And it puts us in a nice little plus which we will immediately leverage to purchase some stuff. Our castle is fully upgraded. Maybe go with crown smithies. Which will really pump up our heavy infantry here. And the extra minus 2% men at arms uh, might be worth it. So let's check out everything else first. Oh, 1,300. Oh, 600. 888, 600, 600. Maybe go with one of the 600 first. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I think we'll go with one of the 600 that actually gives us money. Increases garrison size a little bit. Yeah. We'll go slow. We want to keep money. So we can actually do things if things prop up that need doing. But we can speed this up right now because we are just watching grass grow basically. With our troops moving there. But four months are probably over, are they? Not. Please tell me. Oh, thank goodness. All right. Let's go meet our peers again. While we wait... for our troops to arrive to support our ally. Now everyone knows a scandal. So of course our little tiny army standing around here is a little bit of a of a honey pot for the enemy. So they might be coming for us. Let's try and move away. So we're not eaten alive by the enemy. Okay, the Byzantine... Are we attacking or what are we doing? Okay. Apparently we are fighting. So will I arrive now? Will I get any war score out of it? I think we're still too late for this. Let's see. I won't back down. Prowess by plus one, potentially. Yeah, no, didn't work out. We got wounded. Okay, cool. Our troops are standing right next to where the battle is. Let's see. So we're definitely a heterosexual and we might really like this possessed peasant leader. Who is malnourished. That's going to be our first love. As I look upon a young Landra walking by, sweaty with labor, but a plush on her cheeks, I'm entranced. What is this feeling? This longing? It might be her possession. She looks ready for 12 or 42. A subreddit where you have to... Uh, we'll go with it. Let's get a crush on the possessed girl. Let's make her a reality. And we'll join the game again. Horslava doesn't... Okay, Horslava has rebuked us. She only wants to be friends. Hard times. Right, uh, we'll take this option, 
get a chance of increasing our diplomacy. Which we did. Very good. Our troops, they finally did a thing. And zero war contribution. <laughs> oh, man. What? I guess someone learned of something. I don't care. If you tell someone, I'll hurt you. We'll, we'll threaten her. Don't tell anyone about this. I know where you live. <sighs> Will you please just shut up? No, we'll just deal with it. Ringing ears for five years. That's okay. Until next time, thank you. Okay, can't go there. What is this? This is a mosque. Come on, we must get some war score out of this now. Like, we're in there. We are sending troops. Our knight killed someone. That must count for something. Apparently it doesn't. I feel accomplished. We have learned Italian vulgar. We can learn a few more languages. Let's see, we could also try and learn Greek maybe here. So then we have two out of four. That would give us three out of four. Never had a polyglot. Maybe there's an achievement there that I didn't have either. My boy. Okay, I think I know why our war contribution isn't going up. I think I know. Oh, our nephew. Little Casimir. Very good. You will be a diplomat for the crown. And let's see. Can we get some alliance power out of you? County. County, city, city. No, nothing. So my my assumption is because he has 100% the maximum out of battles, partaking in battles doesn't help us because he doesn't generate war score, we don't generate war score. So what we need to do is siege something, basically. Which I don't really think we can. But we'll try regardless. Yeah, this will be slow as heck. Let's see. Can we find something better? Something a little less intimidating that we can siege. Okay, we are going to be crushed down here now. Well, we might get away. Just in time. And we're taking on supplies again. We could take we, we could retake a siege. That's something we can do. And we're close enough for him to help us. That should work. And that should help us a little bit with war score. Let's see. She could become our friend if we protect her. She could also become our friend. Uh, wait, okay. You becomes your friend. I become my friend. I become calm. Calm is actually pretty decent. 
Brave is quite dangerous. Likelihood of dying in battle plus 100%. That's... That's a lot. We could become zealous. Martial piety. I think we'll become calm. And I will become my own friend. A risky treatment for my injured sister. Drastic measures. Too late for caution. Do your best. Okay, you blinded her. You took out her eye. This will not happen again. Are we clear on this? Okay, so now we're sieging here. And it's a decent siege too. So this will help us get our little war score contribution finally. Troth can marry. Sure, go ahead. Did I give us a alliance? A new one? No. We're no longer wounded. But as you can see... There are literally no factions left that are coming for us. I mean, they still exist, but they are not here. They are not here in this room with us. The scheme executes immediately. Ah, because we're learning as a young lad so quickly. Let's do that. I feel accomplished. We learned Greek. What else can we learn? Let's check through our vassals here. Can I learn your language? Magyar. Sure. And then we have 404. Lots of languages that we can learn here. Our air. Shinzai has died because of bad treatment, I would say. Uh, from her wounds. Our half-sister and friend. Degraded artifact. Something is approaching durability zero. Let's check through our artifacts. We have some money right now. And we haven't really done anything about them in a while. So, we have this equipped. Let's repair it. Everything else I don't care about. We'll only repair what we have equipped. But we'll repair everything as far as we can import it. Especially our Baba Yaga statues and everything. Okay, now let's do the same for our court artifacts. The Gallant Knight. What's this? He is the new lord of the county of Dandomirs. No, he is definitely not. He will serve as my personal champion. Sure. Is he even good? Oh, he's amazing. Yeah. He'll cost us some money. But let's give him a wife. This one here. Enjoy. And I wanted to check our court artifacts and make sure they're fine. So this one, I think, is the only one... That we need to repair. Everything else is in ship shape condition. That's crazy. And all the things that are close to being destroyed, I don't care about. They will be destroyed. Let's see, we're almost done with this siege here. Which will yield us probably nothing. I don't know if we get something by freeing up a siege. Do we get gold from that? No. But. There we go. War contribution. We're in there. We're in boys. They like us now. So I'm not. Go okay, fine. We'll send our troops to participate in this battle. That is clearly upcoming. We'll be a good ally. Other than everyone else always is. This guy is still in factions, I think. So we'll just put him to be the leader of our army. Maybe he dies. Maybe he doesn't. Let's see. Oh, would you look at that? The crusade didn't work out. Big shame. Well, we sent all we had. If you are having your armies wander around uselessly, I don't know what to do. 
Sure, sure, sure. We'll come to that other crusade as well. We'll come to all your crusades. So a long, protracted holy war is always bad. It's always a chance of the enemy just growing above your head. As a defender. So our troops were shattered now. And that means we'll destroy our troops and we'll be done with this war. I mean, we're not going to destroy them. We're just going to send them down. We get an army of 400 men in Krakow. No. You've hidden more somewhere and know it. Today I give got something very special for you. So we could get an army of 800 men or of 400. I think we'll go for this because we're greedy, so 400 men appear in Krakow. Right, we need to do something about this though. We'll leverage our piety this time. Push him back. And we'll stand these down. Okay. Uh, so we have these troops here now. Which just exist. They're our host. Can I stand those down without losing them? I think I cannot. Does it cost us? Do they cost us anything? They will return home. I don't know. I think we lost them. So if you get gifted soldiers, don't throw them away. <laughs> Keep them, maybe. Uh, let's see. Pranking Ladomir. You go distract him. Or, nah, he, he's okay. He can go take a break. So how is our conversion going? Good. So this here is now Servant of the Lamb territory. County faith, county holder. So since the Pope is not servant of the Lamb, it doesn't count. But servant of the Lamb is slowly but surely becoming the thing. We need to get rid of the Pope. One way or another. When can we do this again? 49 days. Could do a university visit and be really, really, really poor. I mean, not while we are a child, but eventually. What do you want to do? Mm, decent skill. No, I'm not, I'm not sponsoring you with decent skill. You can sponsor yourself with decent skill. Should be fine. Start a GoFundMe. Get a Patreon going. Don't ask me. I'm the Emperor. Let's see. We could get a weak hook on the Duke. Wait a moment. 
he is guilty and I will publicly accuse him. My friend. My friend who refuses to leave factions. Yep, that guy. Okay. Uh, heart wrenching rejection. Right, she rejected us. She's no longer malnourished, which, which I'm very happy, happy about. That's That's good on her. She's still possessed, though, but... Well, so we stop having a crush. She becomes our victim and we become vengeful, which I don't really see. That's that's horrible. We become chaste or we become stubborn, which gives us a small health boost against diseases. But everyone kind of hates us. Uh... I mean, he's strong, he's intelligent. Let's also make him stubborn. Uh, I want to help out. I just want to see them work. I will help them. Let's get another learning. We'll take a little bit of stress. Let's see. We get a strong hook on him. I'll make certain he can do me no harm. We imprison him. I will make it very certain he can do me no harm. Uh, so that would be an act of tyranny. We could let him make amends, so he increases his feudal taxes to us. Okay, well, we'll let him make amends. And he's out of the faction. Because we have a strong hook on him, so that doesn't work. But now that we're done with converting over there, we can go start getting ourselves a little claim on this thing here, and then we take it. Because we still have a little bit of uh, room for more places. And since we have a single heir succession type, I don't worry about this being split up anymore. Let's go increase our holdings a little bit. So what do we have stationed here? Light tools. So we'll go and upgrade or build some stables here. We have our trebuchets, which is already being reinforced by this. Let's reinforce it even further. And we have our heavy infantry here. But I think... Okay, we can't go with the castle. So... We'll go with this. Let's see what else can we do. Got our pike here. Men at arms. 600 gold. Okay, that's all we're gonna do for the moment. Maybe we actually increase our pike regiments. That's a little bit small. And also our archers could be more. I feel accomplished. We have learned the Magyar language. So we have learned all the languages we can have at the moment. No, four out of five. We can have another one because our learning went up. Ah, very cool. Okay, uh, let's increase this a little bit more to I don't know that's fine let's increase these guys some more oh no we can decrease them only we can all right these we cannot increase these we could increase these we could but I mean they're all fantastic horses but let's see what counters you you are countered by pikemen and what counters pikemen I would say you guys no skirmishes what counters pike heavy infantry so we should increase our heavy infantry to keep our horses in better shape during battle that makes sense to me by the way anyone questions in chat or on YouTube leave it in the comment throw it in chat I'll get to you We'll talk. I'll answer. I'll try and help. What else do we have? Ah, yes. A new holy war. Now, I'm no longer worried so much about where we are at. Might as well go again. Let's only raise our men at arms. 
put our marshal on organizing the army so we don't lose needless money. And we'll send our men-at-arms down south. And we'll immediately attack a castle. I don't even care. We'll just attack a random castle here. This is not what it's about. It's about this, but it's fine. Okay, we could become a herbalist or a gardener. Both of these are very good. But I think... Oh, stress gain minus 20% is pretty darn amazing. Disease resistance, another medium boost. Both give us... No, only this gives us learning. I wanted more learning. Okay, let's find a new language we can learn. There's another language to learn. Dacian Vulgar. Let's do it. So should we go with the other crusaders? Or should we do what we're doing? We should do what we're doing. There's money to be had. And hostages and everything. It's maybe not the ideal place to land. Because there's a good chance someone is trying to cross over the Strait of Gibraltar. Gibral uh, Gib but I would say that the main host of the enemy army will try and fight for the actual Holy Land. I know just the place for him. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, he's good. I have a new court physician. Look at that. How quick that goes. I only need to find the right thing. <laughs> he is absolutely our court physician. Other guy hates us for it, but it's fine. Let's make sure we have a leader that can siege. We do. Our prisoner has died in our dungeons. Do we have do we have anyone still there? Oh, yeah. One of our queens as well. <laughs> Funny how that goes, huh? So what's nice to take down here? Oh. Oh. That's going to be our next target. A new faction has been created against us. Okay. They bear very little horror to me anymore. Oh, we got a nice little artifact too. It's a small hide. Good stuff because... First, let's resolve this. Epicurean Entainment. Uh, we grow closer to a friendship here. Well, just let them be. But this is interesting. So, Shadow's Pelt is not as good as the Wild Boar Hide because this gives us Renown. So, this will be destroyed. And the Wild Boar Hide goes up. And it will be repaired for 250 gold. Ouch, but I'll take it. Renown is some. Oh, we're very close to getting our next Renown trait as well. Oh no, our steward died. That's a big loss. Our vassal and knight. We'll put in a courtier instead. And I think we can stop getting uh, taxes. So we'll continue on improving the development at home in Krakow. We're good for taxes. We are no longer in, in debt. We can work without it. So our contribution is there, but again, it's not going to count because the Holy Wars are kind of messed up in this save game. What can you do? The Cocky Fiend. A schema has been discovered. Oh, well. Let them scheme. 
Prisoners can be ransomed. Anything good? Well, there's no money for, from anyone, really. So we'll do this one. Servants of the Lamb appears in the Duchy of Angria. Which is where? Up here. Oh, would you look at that? We're spreading. We're coming. We are an unstoppable force. we already taken the papal seat. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, a whole lot of rulers are embracing. Very good. So how much is there? Not much. We're looking for the good prices, you know? Where there's a lot of money to be had. That's a lot of rulers embracing Servant of the Lamb. We like that. Okay. We need better men at arms. Wait a moment. Okay, we're almost done with bombards. Eight years. But we'll take it down regardless. Also, why I'm not gonna get any more trebuchets. Got some nice little stuff created at home. Huh. Okay, yeah, sure. We can have Kremhild beg. And we'll ransom all these little boys. All these small fry. That's how you make money off the back of a crusade. That's not gonna go anywhere. What war is this? Is that still the same one? Ten years. Oh god. At least they're finally winning. It appears, anyway. Oh, 110. That's nice. We'll go there. To Lubla. Uh, Ladomir becomes our rival, our uncle and region. You might be emperor, but you are also a blathering newt. Bampot. Oh no, the Crusaders were just beaten, it appears. But my taking these lands back here has given the Crusaders somewhere to retreat to. See? I'm helping. They might not think I am, but I am. Our culture has discovered standing armies. Which is here, so size of men-at-arms regiments plus five, maximum number of men-at-arms plus one. Not super relevant, but what is our next one that is being influenced? Oh, bombards. Good, three years. So we could increase these sizes some more, but we can't really quite honestly afford them. Uh, to be real with you. <laughs> We're trying. We're giving it our best. Okay, she's really good and she is a strong vassal wanting a job. There you go. You can have it. Let's go. Stop the factionalism and we're all good. Can I meet my peers again? Yeah, very good. We're gonna do that. Oh, look at that. A powerful faction. Let's start swaying some people now that we can. Can I also befriend people now? No, I'm still a child. I'll just start swaying these two. Oh no, we're learning language. We can't only sway one at the moment. All right, we took that place as well. What's the next best? Oh, 155. That will take forever. But... I'll take that. Oh, actually it doesn't take forever. It just looked way stronger than it was. So the Crusaders can rest in my lands. 
I have completed my studies of scholarship. Even if the highest aspects of the subject elude me, I lived up to everyone's expectations and learned more than most. As I take my first steps into adulthood, I find myself reminiscing about some of the people who have made an impact on the man I have become. The friendship I shared with Ladislav meant a lot to me when we were both young and I still have him by my side. It means a lot. I had some memorable times with Horis Lava. She truly helped me understand both myself and love. So we become an astute intellectual. Not the best we could have been, but so good. We will not forget our fondness for Horis Lava. Emperor Bistrik, you are a man now. We are no longer curious. Let's see. We are of course going to go in the learning lifestyle. And we might go into theologian. Might go here. But I think maybe scholar. Maybe scholar. Doesn't really help us much. This we need the least early. Like this, this can come the latest. This we can switch. So I think we're going to go with the scholarship focus first. Because he is first and foremost a gentleman and a scholar. And we have never visited a university with anyone in our life. So maybe we do that now. Maybe we visit the University of Krakow. And... All right, we are meeting our peers right now. Okay. Plus, the money is... Uh, I mean... We're getting some right now, but... So we started the meeting of the peers early enough. So it still triggers even though we are now old. And we have just married the Empress... Sophia, the daughter of our dear friend, and she must convert, of course. We have also too few concubines, can you believe it? A child of our dynasty, our niece. She's spindly and scaly. Ah, oh, she's not looking great. May she grow strong and wise, though. Let's make her studious. And uh, let's see. Alliance power, anything? Duchy of Verona. No. Doesn't matter. Let's get some concubines in here. Could take our prisoner. Salma bin something. Everyone's gonna hate us for that, but... We'll do it. And then we'll go and start... Demand conversion. She's a fearless lackey. And we can try and seduce her. Oh, okay. Can't try, but we're probably not going to get anywhere. Let's befriend her. I feel like a concubine might be a bit of a problem if they hate you. Possibly even more so than anyone else. Okay, we'll take the very young girl here as well. I mean, she's our age, right? So, let's have her convert. Can I learn your language? Four out of seven, okay. Let's learn their languages. Good, what's next on our agenda here? 60 gold. 72. Can't take these, these are cities, but we can take that. 77. Let's go help our crusading brothers a little bit. Let's open up some closer refueling points to them. Slovians. Uh... Nah, it's fine. We're trying to sway him. I can take the little hit to our prestige. What does it matter in the end? Nothing. Is a mere 
a drop in an ocean of amazingness that we are. Victory. Ah, the Byzantines finally won their holy war. Well done, lads. Well done. Yes, welcome our peers. I mean, we're 16. It's young enough to still meet peers to have play dates. So, the Crusaders are being thoroughly beaten in the north there. Let's see. I just want to have fun. I don't want to learn languages. We're already learning a language. Let's stick with that. And we'll join. It'll take us a little bit of stress because we are calm. But you never know the outcomes here. I will go with the sorry. Possibly more diplomacy on the docket. Yes, very good. We're a sweet child. Um, now we'll go with this. Prowess by one, definitely. And we made a friend. Cute. You leave her alone. Prowess and the marshal go up. We'll take that. We're just here living our best life. Sieging all the ripe plums of Spain. Uh, don't cry. Another point in diplomacy. Free of charge. Thank you all and goodbye. That was the last time we meet. We can hold court. Let's do it. Bring in the petitioners. Where was my fanfare? I'm disappointed in my court. I need a fanfare when we start. First one approach. Oh, by God, he must be stopped. Imprison him. I will absolutely do so. Um, ah, come on, bye. I cannot help you. Please enjoy my hospitality. What war? What war are you trying to bring me in? Okay. He will become our vassal. If we fight and we will bring in Finland. Sure, it is a beautiful day for war. Uh, sorry, I have no money to spare. Go away. All right, let's pause. How many troops does Finland have? <laughs> okay. I shouldn't laugh. I will only bring my levies, so... That don't really count. We'll raise all here, but we take down a whole lot. We don't need too many. Like, that should be fine. And we'll bring these north then as well, after the siege is done. Just need to take a little look here. Make sure everyone joins together once they're ready. Let's hope we're not raising too many troops up there. I don't want to spend the money. But this nice little 
place here will help us with the money problems. Okay, 26,000. Hmm. Stop reinforcing, stop reinforcing. You're all good. More than enough. Uh, let's destroy some of these. Let's stand some of these down. Everyone that doesn't have a knight. We don't need. This will be plenty. And we'll just go straight for the capital there. We're not going... Well... Now we're going to fight our way through. All this is already land which we are fighting for. So might as well get some war score in. Faction created against us. Yet again? Inconceivable. Yes, yeah, see it done. So now we get the claim. Cost us very little and now we can revoke this title for no problem because we have a claim on it so it's ours just so it's a temple so we can't hold it directly but this one we can't hold directly but we can hold this directly so here we will just go ahead and create ourselves a new vassal out of thin air will we Oh, we could give it to our matriarch. Can we? No, we cannot. Who should we give this to? One of our brothers? Our half-brother and friend. I mean, he's not really ideally suited for that. No, 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 no. I only want to give him the barony. Barony of... No, I can't give that away. Okay, wait. Wasn't there a button that I could just create a new vassal out of it? I'm staring at this and I feel like there was a button. I could just give this to someone. Who do I give this to? You there. Won't you have... Why can't I give this away? Am I blind? I don't see a button for that. Customize title, doesn't matter. This, that. I just want to give the bishopric of Miliek. How do I do that? Huh. That is very confusing right now. Why can't I give this to anyone? It's under the county, county of Tarno. Oh, wait. Okay, I, I think I see the problem, or do I? This is the county capital. Building disabled because above the domain limit. Yeah, okay, that's all fine. This is the capital already. But I can't give this to anyone. Because you're a Lily C. But that's okay then. What's the problem? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, because that's one too many. That's that's the problem right now. That is all we have. Okay, well, if it's just that, that's fine. 
our empress is pregnant. Now, how, we, how do we deal with this? Simple. We put her to manage domain. So now we're at 8 at 8. It's all good. All good again. No problem. Is our siege done? Almost. There we go. And... Time to go north. Is this the capital? Well, we'll soon arrive on two fronts. Let's see, another another concubine. Have we captured us another good concubine? Oh, we could just take Horislava, the girl we had a crush on. Let's take her as our concubine, the possessed. There we go, we finally made it. We did it. We got her. But... Oh. What? Has a crush on me? Why did she reject us then? That's silly. But I think I want to uh, try and romance her. Once we're done here. Okay, we'll split this army in half. And send half of them here. Let's make sure Finland isn't calling in anyone. Now, our troops will take forever to get here. But at least they're embarking sensibly, you know? Not going north, fighting through the enemy. And then trying their luck. Oh, can we... Can we... Can we reform Slovian? Can we add something? Do we have that now? No, too recently. 72. Okay. 10 more years. Could go for equal. So Marshall, everyone can be, and not just, not just men. I mean, yeah, three thousand prestige, we'll pay for it. That's okay. <laughs> the lady who, whose title we just stole, died. This very moment. So they can just very slowly siege through here. Do we have several siege masters? We do. So the king of Bavaria can do some sieging up there in frigid Finland. Wait a moment. Uh, excuse me. Are you kidding me? Are you trying to ruin me? Trying to get on ships twice? Are you crazy? When we have perfectly good lands to walk through ourselves, our own lands, which is free if you just use your feet? Unbelievable, some of these people. So Finland is really quite big. It's not strong, but it's really quite big. Ah, yes. My queen. Thank you. And doesn't this give us a new legacy soon? Okay, so the crusade is over. So now, my lad, in prison time, he will of course object, which means war time. And then we'll just call the Byzantines in to do that. All right. Let's see. The Byzantines. You know what? We're going to call the Germans as well. Costs us nothing. 
who can we ransom? 49 out of 50. I'll take it as a as a good enough deal for me. Excellent, our allies have decided to come join. Which of course we appreciate greatly. Aha, our first siege is finished. Let's go take that thing. And we could build some stuff. Oh, our son and heir, Bohumil. Let's call him Magnus. He is magnificent. Magnificent. And he'll go for war focus, I think. Always good to have some loyal knights there. Kingdom of Italy. Yeah. Let's get some alliances going internally. What do we have? Fears from the past. Well, my parents cradling me like this before they both passed away while I was so young, leaving me alone. Is this a curse? Oh my god. It's a promise I will not abandon you. Ten years, medium health boost. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll take it. Let's see, court artifacts, what happened here? Did we get something new? Ah, yes. The Great Rohide, which we will immediately destroy and take the money into our treasury. Thank you so much. Sacred Childbirth. Oh, yeah. All right. I forgot. We reformed our religion, so childbirth is sacred. That's great. I wish I could just reform this. But we'll see. Alliance formed with our Italian queen. Well? Byzantines? Where are your troops? Why is no one attacking my enemy yet? Germany? Anyone? Fine. Okay, I think we can done. Uh, we can be done with the. Oh, huh. okay. You granted Duke Jan a claim on the Baltic Empire. You absolute mean boy. Let's go and seduce our crush. Or Romans, or rather, sixteen percent only. I mean, let's make her our lover at least, or try. A strong big lad like him, he shouldn't have any troubles. Convincing the lass. Okay. Someone fled our prison, never good. Let's see. I will confess my love, and we become lovers. Very good. How wonderful. Worked all out for us. I am the luckiest man alive. That was quick. Let's see. Can we romance our wife? Make her our soulmate? Sure. Uh, does it really matter? Impress her by winning a sparring match. I will go with our gut in the moment. Didn't quite work out, but it also wasn't too bad. Okay, Germany is fighting their own thing up here, but what is... Ah. I hope they are not coming to join my armies. I hope they're just going for the enemy. We will have to act. Eventually his... Um, 
his war score is going to kick uh, tick up whereas ours will just kind of stay where it is So fighting up here is kind of difficult because these places don't have a lot of supply. Is that? No, that's just a hostile army, not an enemy army. Ah, our first perk. Scholar. Cultural fascination progress plus 20%. Thanks. Yes. Immediate. Not even joking. Getting this quicker? Mm-hmm. That's gonna be big. We'll complement your taste. Okay, these guys are starving now. Not surprising. So we'll split them. And hopefully... Oh! Seize the skull goblet, did we? All right, the Finns are finally showing themselves. They might land and try and retake what we're taking from them. We'll see. But while they approach, we'll just keep sieging. Or will they go in elsewhere entirely? I don't know. Oh boy, I think the game is crashing. Well... Very opportune. The game is crashing. Which also coincides with the end of the stream for today and the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a, leave a like, leave a subscribe. If you haven't checked it out, check out YouTube or Twitch, depending on where you're watching it right now. If you've got any questions on how to play Crusader Kings 3, it doesn't really matter which video or which stream. Just join, ask your questions. I'll try and help you understand the game and have a good time with it playing it. So, until then, bye-bye.